doing now is I'm drilling a hole right here for a photo cell and this is facing north. That way uh, it isn't affected by the sunrise or sunset. It'll be a, bit, a little bit more even. Also shouldn't be affected by any street lights or anything because there's nothing close. I did drill a little bit of a pilot hole first and I, then I went in and made sure that the cable wasn't going to be in the way because the pilot bit I have for my hole saw is like just way too long for this arbor but that's all I got with me. Then there's that time you run out of battery. Just like that. It's just your basic 120 volt photo cell. Um, if you've never hooked one of these up before, the black is hot, the white is the neutral, and the red goes to your light. That's the way it'll mount. Of course, I'm going to paint this before I actually put that in. So the day is finally come to get this post light put back together here at the renovation house. Of first of September, nice day, temperature in the 70s. I can deal with this, but we're going to get this thing wired up. Okay, a little bit windy, so I hope the microphone isn't picking all that up. First thing we want to do is make sure that there's no power. There shouldn't be. And there is not. Something you always want to do when you're putting in a light. Make absolutely sure the power's off. Just because it looks like the switch is off doesn't necessarily mean the power's off. So if you saw in the, when I did the previous one about putting this, uh, getting this post light painted, I got a photo cell on here. Got three wires here. You got a black, a red, and a white. The white will go on with the neutral along with the post light. The red will go to the post light, and the black will go to the hot wire here. Fold some of this back down into the post. I'm glad somebody left slack. That's always a good thing. And although I can reach this without a ladder, it's kind of handy having the ladder here because i got something to set the light on. I don't have any extra hands here. If you're doing this by yourself without a ladder, you're definitely going to want a second person. Don't drop the light, like I just about did there. I'm looking to make sure the holes line up, and they do. And it'd be great if I had some screws. Okay, while I was going over and fetching the screws, I'll turn the power on so we can test this thing. Just like that, when it gets dark, this will come on. Hopefully the camera can see that the light lit up. And when the sun comes out, it goes out. So that works. Using brass hardware here so that uh, I don't have to go through what I had to go through when I took this apart. This is a screw holding screwdriver if you've never seen one. It has a split tip on it. Put it into a slotted screw, you slide this bottom up right here. It'll hold the screw for you. But what you don't want to do is use one of these to actually drive the screw. You just want to get it started because you'll ruin it if you do. And so there we are. Many, many months later, but by golly, we got her in there. So a little short video, a little, and I'll get along with another update here on the renovation house. We're getting close to uh, time to put siding on. So if got anything out of this at all, appreciate getting a thumbs up. It always helps the channel. Otherwise, I'm Roger at the Renovation House. Lights out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.